trying Grand Slam Pizza in Kennesaw, Georgia. I'll tell you one thing, boy, it ain't nothing but hood around here. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot, I don't know, but from what I can see, hood. This restaurant tagged me on social media, wanted me to come try the viral oxtail pizza. I seen the tag and drove 45 minutes here. But what I can say is I was met with top tier customer service. This lady right here is just a, a very nice soul. You know how some people are just naturally nice. They don't have to fake it or try too hard to be nice. This is one of them people. Anyway, I got the viral pizza along with some other things. Let's see what it's hitting on. Lemon pepper wings. These are, oh yeah, these are lit for sure. So I got 10 wings, 10 wings for $12.99, and they are tossed in lemon pepper. I mean, both sides are evenly coated with lemon pepper. Very meaty of you, very juicy of you, very crispy for you. And it's baked, I had said that already. Ranch, lemon pepper wings, they're on point. We got a cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. All right. The cinnamon rolls, for the most part, they are, they are, I can see some of y'all having a problem with these cinnamon rolls because I feel like they're a little overcooked. And if you can see, the bottom is kind of burnt. This could be one of those situations to where they didn't cover the bacon tray with parchment paper. I don't know. All I know is some of y'all might have a, might have an issue with that. Some of y'all may not, but it's still okay. Here we have a grill pizza. Now this is one of the many pizzas they're famous for. Let's start with the positives. I love the dough. It's nice and thick. Seems to be like an Italian herb type of dough. Or maybe you brush the crust with some Italian herb seasoning or maybe oil. I don't know, but whatever you did, the dough and the crust, on point. The griot pizza itself, absolutely not. Let me just break it down to you. This pizza cost me about 16 bucks. For the price of $16, I'd appreciate if you just gave me what the f just give me what I paid for, is all I'm asking you. You barely gave me any grill. And the grill that I can taste, it ain't hitting on not a got, not a damn thing. When it comes to the base of this pizza, it's pizza sauce, right? I mean, some people may like that, some people may not. Some people may prefer an olive oil or some type of Alfredo base. In this particular situation, it ain't bad. The only thing that stands out about this pizza is the peppers. They gave me a couple of pickles to put on the pizza. Let's see what we got here. No, pickly should be a well-balanced, sweet and spicy cabbage. That is all spice. And last but not least, we have the viral oxtail pizza. Can I get a hell no on three? One, two, three. Hell no. I'm gonna break it down to you once again. So for one, the pizza itself looks weird. We got thick crust on one side, and on the other side, it's like thin crust. Not sure if you meant to do that, but personally, I didn't appreciate that. It's not consistent. Two, this is an oxtail pizza. So at the very least, the f***ing oxtail should at least taste like it's something. You understand what I'm saying? Oxtail is horrible. You didn't season the oxtail at all. I mean, not even a little bit. You also gave me jalapenos, green peppers, red peppers, which adding that onto the pizza was a, a genius idea. When we go to the base of the pizza, I don't care what nobody say. You are making an oxtail pizza, specifically an oxtail pizza. The base of the pizza should not be pizza sauce. It should not, I don't care what anybody said, it shouldn't be pizza sauce. If you're gonna make an oxtail pizza, you have to make it unique. I would have probably used oxtail gravy as the base. Alfredo and oxtail gravy as the base. Olive oil as the base. I would have used anything but pizza sauce, bruh. Using pizza sauce on an oxtail pizza is just downright diabolical. The dough was good though. I got some cantaloupe juice. I'm not the biggest cantaloupe fan, but I wanted to try this, but this right here. If you come here, definitely get this. This is off the charts. Keep in mind, these bad reviews are not personal. The people in this establishment are really nice. And to be honest with you, I would come back. But that doesn't take away the fact that what I had today was trash. But if you have in Kennesaw, Georgia, check this place out.